Hey everybody, welcome to our next episode of Dinner with Dads. Tonight we are doing four cheese spaghetti squash. I know, we've done spaghetti squash before, but this is different. I went ahead and made the spaghetti squash because you've seen me do that before. If you've ever watched our episodes before, episode one, I showed how to cook a spaghetti squash. And so it's been cooking here for about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna get them out of the oven and let them cool. And then we're gonna start making the sauce for our four cheese spaghetti squash. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so the squash have been cooked. They're out of the oven and they are cooling and you definitely wanna let them cool because as you've seen before, it's really hard to get the squash out when it's really hot. So we're gonna start on the cheese sauce. And this recipe is kind of like, it's almost like a macaroni and cheese, but using spaghetti squash and not pasta because as you know, we try to avoid lots of carbs. So I've got my cast iron skillet here and I'm starting with uh, three to four-ish tablespoons of butter and we're gonna let that melt here for a minute. Have my recipe here on my phone and then I'm going to add, I'm not sure yet, then I'm going to add the garlic. I've already chopped up the garlic. Look at this. I'm working it in. I'm going to add the garlic to the butter and let it start to get fragrant. Okay, we'll let that butter melt and let that start to smell really good. Alright, so I've got the butter melting and the garlic. Um, I used about of garlic because I like lots of garlic. Five cloves of garlic smelling really good. Now this recipe originally was not a low carb recipe but I'm converting it. So this recipe called for I think a tablespoon and a half of all-purpose um, flour but since I don't use flour I'm using coconut flour. This is my first time ever using coconut flour so I don't know how this is gonna go. But I did read that you can't serve <laughs> Tarzan is in the house. Did you hear that? Yeah. Kelly, Tarzan is here. I did Google that you cannot um, measure, um, you know, the ratio of one to one with all-purpose flour and coconut flour. You have to do like one fourth. So I'm going to use about roughly three fourths of a tablespoon of this coconut flour. It's supposed to be a tablespoon and a half because evidently it's very absorbent. Um, I think it's just supposed to add some body to it. So I'm gonna stir that in really, really well to my butter and my garlic. And I was gonna leave out the flour, and I don't know if it'll make much of a difference having it in here or not. I don't know, but we're gonna try this. It's my first time making this recipe, so this is a little scary videotaping it. But hopefully this will turn out. So I'm gonna put this, this on, oh yeah, it's starting to sizzle. And let this cook for two minutes before I add anything else. Okay, so this is smelling awesome. The coconut flour's in there, it's cooked, it's even, it's browning a little bit, which is, it's supposed to do from what I understand. It browns it up, look at that, see the brown? What does Ann Burrell say? Brown food tastes good. She's the Scary Daddy on Food Network. Now, Callie, you can attest to how good this smells, can't you? It does smell really good. It's so good. Okay, now we're gonna add a half a cup of milk but I'm having heavy whipping cream because there's no carbs. Well, very few. Actually, zero. Zero. Very few. Um, I'm using heavy whipping cream, which will make it really nice and thick. So it's a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and then a half a cup of chicken broth. I've got a new thing here. It's bubbling. Yes. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at this. Africa. Yes. Yes, and we're going to mix all that up. All this goodness. Yes. Okay, we're going to let that just all kind of melt together here for just a minute or so. And then we're going to start adding the cheesy goodness. All right, so we just added 
the heavy whipping cream, the chicken broth, and then in this bowl, I have our four cheeses already mixed together. I have a half a cup of mozzarella, a half a cup of Parmesan, half a cup of provolone, and a half a cup of Monterey Jack. So I mix all those together, and then I took out a half a cup, because we're gonna add it to the top later. Um, so the rest, we're gonna mix it in to our simmering liquid here. We're gonna stir it. Look at that cheesy goodness here. Look at that. Let me turn it so you can see it. All of that cheesy goodness right there. And then we're gonna mix it in. This is on like, you don't want this to be very high because then the, the cheese will stick to the skillet, the, the bottom. So you don't want it on terribly high heat. We're gonna mix all this. And then what we're gonna do, let me tell you before we do it. The squash, they're cooling, and then we're gonna scrape the spaghetti out. We're gonna mix the spaghetti in with this awesome sauce. And then we're gonna put it back inside the shells. And then put a little cheese on top, put it in the broiler, and then serve it and eat it out of the shell. That's oh, fancy. It is fancy. Bougie. Bougie. I learned that word recently. I know, did you know the word bougie? I don't know. I guess I'm just like living in an island somewhere. But my family, they're like, bougie. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I've heard it on TV several times. Look at this creamy sauce, creamy cheese sauce. Great, so I'm just gonna turn this on low. Let it just kind of simmer around, but I don't want it high because I don't want it sticking. And then I'm going to start getting that amazing spaghetti squash out of our cooling spaghetti squash well. Spaghetti squash shells. Okay. All right, so I'm scraping, you've been watching me do this, scraping the spaghetti squash out. You saw me do this in our very first episode if you saw it. The only thing different this time is because I'm, we're putting um, stuff back in the shells to, to serve it from the shells, I'm not getting quite as much out. I'm leaving a little more in just to give a little more substantial kind of shell here. So I'm, I'm leaving a little more in than I normally would. And also, um, when I do my lasagna, like in episode one, I um, try to squeeze and drain out as much of the, the liquid from the squash because otherwise then the lasagna gets really watery. But I'm not going to do that now. Since it's going into a nice cheesy sauce, I think the moisture will be just fine. But again, it's my first time doing this, so I don't know. This one I got a little too much because I got a little bit of hole in my shell and I'm like, that'd be okay. So I'm gonna transfer this wonderful, yummy squash right into our beautiful, cheesy mixture. Oh, it smells so good. I can't tell you how good it smells. It smells really good. Oh, my word. smell of vision. Oh, there's that smell of vision again. So there's a lot of squash here. Wow, okay, a lot of squash. We want to try to mix it all in. Ooh. As best as possible. This takes a little time. But you don't want to, you know, wrestle your squash too much, but you want it to get really nice and mixed in here. Now that looks awesome. Doesn't that look awesome? That looks like a big old pan of like angel hair Alfredo. Or... Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Callie, this may be my best meal yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke. I often will make these new recipes and then I'll be like, I think this might be my best one. <laughs> I'm always surprised because you know, I'm not really a cook. Okay, so we've got it all mixed together. And our next thing is we're going to bring our shells back over. Let me go ahead and get one. Keep them on your pans because you're going to put it back in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and get the broiler going. 
um, to get it up and running. So we're gonna fill these shells now with this awesome cheesy goodness. Okay, so we got our yummy, amazing, cheesy goodness in here, and then we're gonna put some salt and pepper, generous amounts of salt and pepper. And then we've got our half of cup of cheese that we kept out. We're just gonna sprinkle just a little bit on the top of each one. Well, don't mind the spray paint cans. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I just noticed the... Leftover from an earlier project. Why are they in the kitchen? Hmm. Okay, I think that's about right. And then, of course, some fresh parsley would probably be better, but I don't have it, so who cares? It's just for aesthetics, really. Ooh, that one's gonna have a lot. <laughs> yes. Gotta have a little bit of green on here. Yes. A dash of green. Okay. And then we're gonna put these in the oven under the broiler you know, for three or four minutes. Let that cheese melt. All right, it's time to get our four cheese spaghetti squash out of the oven. They've been in the broiler for just a few minutes. Look at that. Oh, nice, getting a little nice brown color there. Get a picture of those. Yes. And then to serve them, you're just gonna put one squash Tricky. Let me try this one. One squash. <laughs> this is gonna be disaster. Do you need it's spatula? Yeah, I better use a spatula. Wow. Okay. Uh, if I drop one on the floor, you'll never hear the end. Be this is a lot of food. Look at that. Serve that up. And there you go. Add a little salad, you've got an awesome low-carb dinner here. <laughs>